Hey guys, you here with another bit for Blender and this one we're gonna be talking about a really cool uh, trick that you can um, apply to remove all the interface. I really like working in a clean Blender that nothing distracts me, it's just way too much fucking info on you. So um, I wanted to texture this thing and render it and then post process it probably in one or two videos. But I'm tired. Uh, I was recording all night, as you can hear from my voice, it's just wrecked. Because we decided to scrap all the, I don't know, 20 or 25 or more hours of videos, probably closer to 30, of the new course and start from scratch. That's how crazy you are. We just thought that we can do it better and, you know, uh, we decided to start over. So actually I'm going to show you the new scene because it's kind of similar but a bit different. So here's a new scene, guys. It's completely redone from scratch and um, I haven't finished yet. There's going to be still a lot of uh, stuff coming in here. Of course, we have, uh, you know, the uh, kid passion stuff, but the whole environment is a bit different because I edit. Uh, let me just remove the ceiling for a second. Uh, where is it? Ceiling. There we go. Um, well, let me show you. There's going to be an entire area of... Uh, let me just remove that too. Um, there's going to be a new room and you can just walk around the corridor and and we revamped um, all the um, kit bus pieces for, you know, the modular pieces. So this is going to be fun. Um, it's really, really, um, I had a lot of fun doing this, um, you know, basically recorded today, the whole modeling. So it was really fun. So that, you know, the courses in, in, in production probably going to be completed somewhere end of this month maybe beginning of the next month so coming soon i think um, but we still have you know quite a quite a few things to do like i said we started from scratch so anyway um what i want to show you is um a cool trick with with the interface okay so when you work in blender like this and you got all these menus here and you know it's just a little bit tiring to this is too much information you don't need so you can collapse panels like end panel and T panel, but basically, you know, you're stuck with all this junk around. I don't really need this when I'm working on something. So all I need is just to look at the item. I need to access to various faces, etc. So I don't need this shit. So, you know, I can, for example, turn off my gizmo, which is, you know, improving situation, but not really completely. So I could work in a control space mode, which removes this side panel here. But I could also work in a control alt space mode which is far more interesting especially you know if you remove the grid so you can uh, go here and you can go to this menu here and you can remove the floor and you can remove the axis as well and then you can just go to control alt space and you are in completely you know serene uh, kind of environment where nothing really distracts you which is great so when you grab a piece and you know and you want to work on it in you know in separation you can, and if you, for example, want to go to orthographic, you'll see the grid anyway. If you're going to go to hard ups, you'll know which axis is which because hard ups going to display colors. So why bother? Um, the only thing is that when you use hard ups mirror, it's going to be um, launching this gizmo, uh, which usually uh, I prefer to keep turned off. But, uh, uh, you know, so again, control alt space for really clean interface and i really like working like this sometimes it's just um kind of serene you, know, you can focus on what you're doing on the details nothing distracts you no grid no nothing it's really cool so give it a shot yeah so it's either control space or control alt space okay and here you can turn off the floor and axis this is also very useful when you when you want to uh render a viewport so you, you know usually i turn off this either all the um, all the visibility of all the um, details, but that will not allow you to see verts because when you turn this off, everything is gone. Whereas when you turn off these three, you can still see verts, yeah. So you can actually keep modeling. But you know, this one is a very quick way of switching stuff off when you want to go here and, for example, you know, render something in view. So you go to view and viewport render, and there you go, you got your uh, object on a kind of background. Which, by the way, if you wanted to have a cutout, you need to turn on the transparency here. Otherwise, you will have a background. So if I turn it off, you'll see that uh, I'm going to have a background now. See, so there you go. So anyway, guys, course is in production. Uh, we have still a lot to do, but it's going to be fun as hell. There's going to be a shit ton of value and information. So hope you're going to find it useful and have fun with it when it's out. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.